हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ़ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 393 नाइन्टी इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द बूम ए बी लाइज इन द वर्टिकल वाई जेड प्लेन एंड इज सपोर्टेड बाय अ बॉल एंड साकेट जॉइंट एट बी एंड बाय द टू केबल्स एट ए It is said that calculate the tension in each cable resulting from the 20 kN force acting in the horizontal plane and applied at the midpoint M of the boom. Right? So we have to find this T1 and this T2. If this force is applied, this is 20 kN and this force is acting in the xy plane. Right? So it will have two components. Right? So first of all, we Uh, let's let's represent this force 20 kN force as a vector right so let's say that this is p vector the magnitude is p right so if this is p vector so then p vector will be equal to so it will have two components it will have one component in this direction right and this component is acting in the positive y direction and this is the cos component so i will write this is 20 cos of 20 degrees and this is acting in the positive y direction so i will write j and similarly then we will have one another component which will be acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus and that is 20 sin of 20 degrees and this is in the positive i direction so now let me write it as p equals to so this p vector so i will write the i term first so the i term is 6.840 this is i and then this is plus and this is 8 18.794 j so this is the p vector right now we will find the t1 right so t1 vector will be equal to t1 magnitude and the unit vector along ad right since t1 is acting from a to d so this will be ad divided by ad magnitude so t1 now as we can see that from to reach that point d we have to travel um 4 meters in the negative x direction so we will write minus 4 i then we need to travel 3 plus 2 meters in the positive in the negative y direction so we will write this is minus 5 j and to reach that point d we need to travel 10 meters distance in the negative z direction right so we will write minus 10 k and then we will find the magnitude so the magnitude is 4 square plus 5 square plus 10 square and this magnitude is 11.874 right so we can write this t1 if we divide all these components by this magnitude so then this t1 is Minus zero point three three seven i, minus zero point four two one j, minus zero point eight four two k. Right now we will find t two vector. So t two vector will be equal to t two, and this will be a c divided by a c magnitude. Right. So this is t two. now t2 and then to reach that point c from a again we need to travel how much distance so we need to travel 4 meters in the positive x direction right so i will write plus 4 and then we need to travel again 5 meters this 3 and plus 2 right so again 5 meters in the negative y so i will write minus 5 j and then 10 units in the negative k direction i will write minus 10 Okay, so as we can see that the magnitude will remain the same, right? So this is four square plus five square plus ten square and square root. Then we can write t two. So as we can see that there is only difference in minus four and plus four the i term, right? Since this t one has a uh, one component in the negative x direction and this has one component in the positive x direction, and the remaining two components are same, right? so we can write it directly so this will be t2 and this will be positive right so this is positive 0.337i minus 0.421j 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर टू के राइट दिस इज फोर नाउ वी विल फाइंड द समेशन ऑफ मोमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो राइट सो नाउ वी विल डिफाइन आवर मोमेंट आर्म्स फॉर ईच ऑफ दिस फोर्सेस ईच ऑफ दिस टेंशंस राइट सो आई विल राइट लेट्स से दैट द मोमेंट आर्म फॉर T1 is let's say B A right so I will write R B A cross T1 vector then plus R B A T2 right see the moment arm for T1 into T2 will remain the same since they are originating from this point A right and then we will write plus and for this P the moment arm is let's say bm right so i will write r bm cross p and this will be equal to 0 right so i will write i j and k t1 magnitude is not known so we will write it outside and r b a right so again from b to a so from b to a first we need to travel uh 3 meters in the positive y direction so i will write plus 3 and then we need to travel plus 10 in the k direction right so i will write plus 10 and there is no need to travel in the i direction to reach that point a and then t1 so t1 is minus 0.337 minus 0.421 and this is minus 0.842 Similarly, we will write T two, right? R B A. So I will write I J and K. R B A is again that same vector. So zero plus three and plus ten, and then T two is again that same vector, but only this one is plus, right? So I will write zero point three three seven minus zero point four two one minus zero point eight four two, and similarly R P M. Right, so this is I, J, and K. Right, so there are plus signs between them. Right, this is plus plus. So we will write plus, and this is plus. And now R B M. So this is the vector from B to M. So to reach that point M, first we need to travel the half of this. Right, since this is the midpoint of this A B. So then, in the y direction, we will travel the half distance of this three meters. Right, so we will write that this is three divided by two. So this is one point five meters. and then similarly in the z direction we need to travel half of this right so this will be 5 along the k direction and this is 0 and that p vector is 6.840 along i and then 18.794 along j and this is equal to 0 now i will find this determinant So now, as we can see that i into three into this, so this is three into minus zero point eight four two i. We can write this minus outside, right? So this is minus minus three into zero point eight four two i. These are the positive diagonals. So then, ten j into this, so ten into zero point three three seven is minus three point three seven, and this is j. And this k into zero is zero, right? And then, as we can see, that this will be plus three into this, and this is k. So I will write, uh, and this is the negative diagonal. So plus three. So we will multiply it by one another minus sign, right? So this will be minus three into zero point three three seven minus into minus plus and plus into minus minus. So we have minus, right? So this is three into zero point three three seven. K, and then this is again negative diagonal, so minus into minus plus. This is plus ten into zero point four two one is we can write it directly. So this is four point two one, and this is i, right? And similarly, this term is zero. So now again, this is three into minus. So I will write three into minus zero point eight four two i. Then this ten into point three three seven is plus three point 
थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सेवन जे एंड देन दिस इज जीरो एंड देन दिस इज थ्री इन टू वी कैन राइट दिस एंड दिस इज ए नेगेटिव डायग्नोस अगेन वी विल राइट माइनस थ्री इन टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री सेवन एंड दिस इज के एंड देन वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस सो दिस इज नेगेटिव डायग्नोस दिस विल बिकम पॉजिटिव सो आई विल राइट प्लस and this is 10 into 0.42 so is 4.21 i and this is zero right and remember that all these terms are multiplied with t1 and all these terms are multiplied with t2 right so we have this t1 and t2 as well remember so this is equal to so again this is 1.5 into 0 0 so this is 5 into 6.840 this is j and this is 0 right and then the negative diagonal so this is 1.5 into so i will write minus 1.5 into 6.840 k and then this one minus 5 into 18.794 this is i and this one is 0 now we will combine all the i terms right so let me combine the components of the moment point b in the x direction right so this is again the i components so i will write minus 3 into 0.842 and then we have this another one right so this is plus 4.21 and this is multiplied with t1 similarly we will write plus 3 into this one so minus 0.842 and then this one plus 4.21 and this will be multiplied with t2 and similarly we have this one right so this is minus 5 into 18.794 and this is equal to 0 so now when we simplify this so then this is 1.684 t1 Plus one point six eight four t two, and this is five into eighteen point seven nine four. And if we divide this whole equation by one point six eight four, so then this equation is t one plus t two equals to fifty five point nine three five. Let's say this is equation one. Now we will add up all the j terms, right? So j terms. Now, as we can see, this is minus three point three seven minus three point three seven t one, right? This is multiplied with t one, and this is plus three point three seven t two, and then this one, right? So this is plus five into six point eight four zero, and this is equal to zero. And if we divide the whole equation by 3.37 so we will get this equation so this is minus t1 plus t2 and this will be on the other side this will become minus and if we divide this by 3.37 so we will get minus 10.148 and let's say this is equation 2 right so now if we add equation 1 and equation 2 so if i write equation 1 here so this is t1 plus t2 and this is equal to 55.935 there is no need to add the k terms right since there are two unknowns in this problem and we got two equations right and these two equations only involve t1 and t2 right so we can solve this these two equations simultaneously to get these two unknowns right so now if we add up both of these equations so then we can see that this is 2t2 and this is equal to Forty-five point seven eight seven, and then if we divide this by two, so then T two is equal to twenty-two point eight nine kilonewton, right? So I will write twenty-two point eight nine kilonewton. So this is our T two, and now if we put T two in this equation one, so then T one will be equal to. Fifty-five point nine three five minus T two, so T two is twenty-two point eight nine kilonewton. So when we solve this, so T one is thirty-three point zero five kilonewton. 
right so this is t1 magnitude and this is t2 magnitude which was required in this problem right if you people want me to solve more and more statics problems kindly subscribe my channel and also write in the comment section right so let me know that which problem you want me to solve right